Hey guys, I posted three Legends League bases on my YouTube community post for my members to see. If you haven't already, go join that YouTube membership. It's right next to the subscribe button if you're on desktop and you can get access to a bunch of Legends League bases every single month. Also, don't forget to use code LEXNOS in-game before you make any in-app purchases. Thank you so much for the support. Here we are with alternate attacks versus Ni Shang Dance, guys. Two world championship teams and Dance are in with the first attack of the match coming in with the super witch hit on bob the builder's base we're gonna start off with a warden walk over here at 4 30. healers on the warden eventually looks like we're trying to get the warden to take out that eagle nice and early here and he should be able to do that hopefully unless he keeps walking down south takes out that gold mine where does he step up next He's going south for the mortar. Does he go for the eagle eventually? Come on, Warden, you know you want to. Oh, he's not going for that eagle, guys. Tion from Dance didn't funnel properly. Is that Warden ever going to go for the eagle? Uh-oh. Goes for the wizard tower. Tell me he goes for the eagle next. If he goes for the... Oh, he goes ahead and starts with the super witches. Uh-oh. He's just going to skip the eagle. Okay, I guess we'll get the eagle last. This is uh not great here. Couple of Coco Loons in to help support. Look for any seeking air mines. We got to get into that single target Inferno Tower before it kills too many of our troops. King on the outside with the Valkyrie to funnel. The balloons are going in. We should rage or something. How are we going to take out that Inferno Tower? The Warden's going to get hit hard. Queen goes inside. That's good. There goes the rage. CC troops come out. Two headhunters and a lava dog right there. We pop the Warden ability because he got absolutely wrecked. The Warden's at 1 HP, guys. Now the healers are going to get him back up to full. We find the Tornado Trap at 9 o'clock with the King over there. We also have the Siege Barracks at 9. Jump spell to get us into the core. That Eagle is still up and doing a lot of damage, TBH Honest with you. Down goes the Town Hall, finally. Troops are going to start making their way into the core. Only a minute and 15 left on the clock. He had Valkyries in his Siege Barracks. Where is he going to use this Royal Champion? He still has like two Rages and two Freezes. He's going to use the Royal Champion on the Eagle Artillery. That's probably the right call. We need to get that down very soon. He freezes an expo. Huh? RC on the eagle. She'll be able to keep going and get a few more buildings on the bottom side. He needs to save that last freeze for the single target Inferno Tower, and this could still work. There goes the rage on the back end. He's going to choose to freeze early so that Queen can stay alive and hold on to her ability just a little bit longer. He has to pop it now for the scatter shot. RC needs to pop her ability. We got to get through that single, and it should be GG. There goes the RC ability. Boom. Can she get the single? Yes, she can, and wow, that still worked. Holy super witches are insane. He's got minions and a sneaky galvan at 3 o'clock. 24 seconds to go. Wizards to drop. A big boy tanking the last archer tower with the royal champion at full health, guys. Even though it looked a little sketchy at the beginning, Tion from Nishang Dance still able to get it done. And there's a triple on the board to start off the match. Vale, it's the World Championship MVP in with the first attack for alternate attacks. Coming in with a Zap Lalo here, okay, with two poisons. Gonna zap the scatter shot in the core, it looks like, with the Wizard Tower and both sweepers. Some pretty nice value right there, not gonna lie. Completely guts the entire core of the base. Wallbreaker doesn't do anything, actually. He just swagged a Wallbreaker. Yeti to funnel at 430, all right. Ice Golem, King. Royal Champion on the bottom side to help funnel. Looks like we want the Royal Champion to take the Eagle. We want King and Queen to take out the King and the enemy Queen and the CC troops, I think. He only had one Headhunter and he uses it early. How's he going to kill the Royal Champion later? We'll have to see. King and Queen are going to go in because the funnel is perfect from Vale. Drops the first poison right there. Pops the King ability. Still has a second poison for later. RC gets the Eagle. She hasn't even had to use her ability yet, dude. She might be able to take out that multi as well. Maybe. Let's see which way she paths. She goes up for the Archer Tower. Pops the ability right away. She's going to get stuck here. See, the Hound pops. He's going to drop the second poison. If he uses a freeze, RC could take out the multi. Uh, Probably would have been worth it. Dude, it would have been worth it to drop a freeze, I think. He starts the Lalo from 3 o'clock. He wasn't even looking at the RC. <clears throat> Could have gotten that multi and the enemy RC with like one freeze. But we're going to Lalo from the top side of the base over here. We find the Tornado Trap super early. Got to freeze up that Town Hall. Queen's still alive with ability. 
Warden with the right group of loons. We're going to haste them up into the town hall here. Boom. Pop this warden ability. Now, perfectly timed warden ability. Hello, Red Bomb. Queen's still alive with ability as well. We got one more hound and the stone slammer. I think this is still wrecked. He still has a hound to drop there and a stone slammer for the back end. Sends it straight into an air defense. We still have a freeze. We still have a haste. Even with the road champion up on defense, I think he's going to be able to smash through it. Let's see. Whatever's in his stone slammer. Probably a dragon or something's going to be able to kill this road champion here in a little bit. He pops it manually just so he can get the dragon out to kill this road champion. He has headhunters in his stone slammer. Four of them. <laughs> Yo, that's OP. Calculated. He knew exactly what he was going to do with that stone slammer. Four headhunters in the stone slammer for the enemy road champion. And it's a clan class triple with 41 seconds to spare the base. Got absolutely obliterated. And Vale with a triple to clap back right at Nishang Dance. And it's all tied up. And GYY is in with the second attack of the match for Dance. Let's see what they're bringing. Coming in with the... Is it a Pekka Wee Wee? It is, kinda. No super wizards. Early blimp for the town hall and the CC pool. We got yetis and sneaky goblins in there to take out the town hall right away. Finds two skeleton traps as well. Nice to get those out of the way early. Queen steps up, kills the headhunters. Now she can step up and kill the hound if it ever comes her way. Oh, it's going up for Yeti Mites. Hello, well. Now he can drop the healers on the queen. Queen can fight that lava dog. We have a poison as well. All right. Boom, boom. There goes the poison. We're trying to funnel some of the stuff here on the bottom side. Likely just going to see a wall break into this huge compartment. I bet the wall breaker is going to go right about where those builder huts are. And then another wall breaker later to get them all the way to the core. King and Witches on the bottom side of the base. Here come the Yetis. And one P.E.K.K.A. Bowlers in as well. Warden is down. Where Did the wall breaker fail? What the heck happened to his wall break? It died early. Oh, he didn't even notice until too late. Uh-oh. That means he's going to have to drop another freeze on that single. Or can Queen take it out in time? Ooh, that was close. Luckily, he didn't have to waste another freeze. Jump spell into the core from the bottom side. King pops his ability. He died early. There goes the Warden ability as we make our way into the core. Eagle's still up, but it's about to drop. We killed the enemy king. We used the RC really early on the bottom side of the base. We're going to send her straight into a single target in front of tower. One more rage over here. Can the RC stay alive? We might have to invest the freeze over there if she gets targeted. And she does get targeted right away, so we are going to have to invest the freeze. Luckily, there's no skeleton trap over there, though. So she doesn't actually have to use her ability just yet. The rest of the troops in the core are pushing their way over here into the top side of the base where the last Inferno Tower stands. RC is doing a great job getting all these defenses on the flank. Tons of peckers alive. Still, by tons, I mean one and only one healer left and they're all going to die right now. But we still have RC on the top side. We still have Queen with ability. It's going to be close, but I think he can get it. Let's see, RC can grab a couple more Teslas and Archer Tower. Queen picks up the multi, and we still have her ability. I think it is indeed a triple for Dance right here. The Wizard and Minion on the right side. RC is going to die to the Tesla, but Queen pops her ability, gets through the wall. 32 seconds to finish off all these cleanup buildings. Down goes the last Tesla and the last Mortar. Queen and Warden can take out all those buildings on the top left. Wizard and Minion are doing a great job on the right side. 21, 20. 19. He's definitely got enough time. And another triple for Ni Shang Dance, guys. They're going to be two for two in this match. Down goes Ast's base right here. Nice hit from Dance. Bob the Builder is in with the second attack of the match for ATN. Coming in with the Queen Charge Hybrid. Early wall breaker from the bottom side. Yeti and Sneaky Goblin to funnel the right side. Okay. Queen, Coco Loon, and Healers in from the bottom. Yeti makes a perfect funnel on the right. We don't really need to funnel the left, but he's going to go ahead and invest a few Loons. Finds two Teslas right away. Going to have to freeze and rage, probably. He's being very patient with the rage. One more balloon to try and funnel that Archer Tower on the left, but the Teslas are kind of throwing off the pathing. He obviously wants to wall break Queen into this core. That Coco Loon found two Seeking Air Mines, which is pretty OP. We're going to need to wall break, I mean, rage that queen very soon. There goes the rage. How's he going to funnel the left side? He's going to try sending hogs. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. He needs to funnel some of these buildings more. 
We could honestly get the Teslas. It, those hogs were pretty much swagged, if you ask me. The wall break is successful. Tornado trap was triggered by the wall breaker, so Queen doesn't even have to deal with that. Now the funnel is made. Queen's gonna go up and into the core, it looks like. I think, unless, unless I jinxed it. Does she go left? Nah, she should go right for sure. And she does, straight into the core. Hello, CC troops. Ooh, this is gonna be a lot to deal with. Perfect poison and freeze though. Gonna be able to kill the headhunter with that. Eagle artillery is already awake, so he's gonna start the hybrid from three o'clock. King on the outside. Hybrid going straight into the town hall. We got the siege barracks to support the king. Queen can step up for the multi in the core. My cat is meowing in the background and going absolutely crazy. Pops a warden ability super early. King ability on the outside. Queen's gonna stay alive for a while. We don't have any more freezes, but we do have another rage that we could drop on her right now, and we do. There's one Tesla that unfortunately we skipped, and nobody's going for it. Uh-oh. Queen might have to pop her ability for all these enemy heroes on the backside. Yep, she's gonna pop her ability right there. We got one more heal for the hybrid. Can we get through all this on the backside? I dare say we can. Hello, wizards are going to try to go 2v1 that Tesla, but they stand no chance. Queen is going to die to the warden and the enemy king. She does. We're going to get a healer swap, but the royal champion at full health. We still got to heal for these hybrid troops. King, Pecker, an army of wizards on the outside of the base. It should be smashed, unless I'm crazy. If he can save that RC ability to snipe the Tesla, it should be smashed. We just have to wait until there's only three defenses left over here, and then he can pop the RC ability. Boom, can pop it now, and the Tesla will go down. Boom, boom, and boom! Beautiful RC ability, plenty of time on the clock to spare, and man oh man is this going to be a good match, guys. Another Clan Clash triple for ATN versus Nisheng Dance. Both teams are two for two in this match. Wow! I got a kitty. Next attack is in. <clears throat> it's Mr. Squiggly Pants on Vale's base. Coming in with the E-Dragons. Ah! Put the kitty down. Here we go. E-Dragons from the top left side of the base. King at 12 o'clock. Stone Slammer in with the E-Dragons. Early as heck, Warden ability. Queen with the King. CC troops are coming out. Looks like we got archers and headhunters. We're just going to drop a poison right there. Air skellies as well. We're going to get through everything. King and Queen are going to make a nice funnel. Baby Dragon to funnel the left side. <clears throat> okay. We just got to get into this town hall compartment with four expos, rage through it, absolutely demolish the base. We still got the road champion to drop in. Three freezes. There goes the first of four freezes, actually, on the town hall. We find the tornado trap. E-Dragon's doing the disco dance in the core there. It's all good, though. Where do we use the road champion? Arena Swagger. LOL. Don't even eat her. Queen pops her ability, kills the enemy queen. Can she get the scatter shot as well? She's going to get locked onto the king instead. So we're actually going to send our RC straight into the enemy king because we hate ourselves. But it's going to work. Kinda. Are we going to freeze him again? No, we're not. Two E-Dragons on the bottom side. We still got two freezes to try and keep this Royal Champion alive. This is going to work. Royal Champion should be able to stay alive with these freezes. Pop her ability early, maybe. Nope, go with the freeze first. Let her get the cannon down, then pop her ability. Yep, boom, 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 and boom. He can swag the last freeze. <clears throat> That's gonna be another triple for Nishang Dance, guys. They are unstoppable versus ATN right now. They are gonna be three for three, and all the pressure back on to ATN, who have to triple again just to keep up with Dance. Wow, what an amazing performance so far. That was a fast attack, a minute and 10 to spare. That attack was only a minute and 50 seconds. Clan class tripled with the E-Dragons. I didn't even notice at first, but he had two lightning spells for one of the sweepers as well. Ast is in with the third attack for 8TN. They got a triple if they want to keep up. We're coming in with the Lalo, and my goodness, it looks like he's trying to bring at least one of every spell type. Look at his spells. Giant and RC from 6 o'clock. Yeti to funnel at 4.30, but he finds three Teslas, four Teslas and a Skelly Trap. Uh-oh, I don't think that Yeti's going to make the funnel he wanted. Did Dance just bait this attack? Let's see. He's going to Quake? Lightning spell, invisibility spell. He wants the RC to get the town hall. Yo, that's crazy. Nice use of the invisibility spell. RC sues the town hall and gets all the defenses behind it. Yo, that was OP. But she also pulls the CC. Was that expected? Was that planned or not? Let's see. He's going to have to kill this... CC right now. Golem, king and queen from the bottom side of the base. He's going to freeze the headhunters, poison the super minions. Okay. Sneaky goblin to help funnel the storage a little bit. 
wall break to get queen and king access to the eagle artillery if they can stay alive long enough but king goes the wrong way ass just messed up his suey king went the wrong way he rages up the queen and the golems uh oh queen can take out the rc she will be able to get the multi but i don't think he's gonna get the queen or the eagle like he probably wanted to because king decided to go for a walk oh that's unfortunate can he recover though? Starts with the stone slammer at three o'clock, finds the tornado trap, Tesla farm's already dealt with. Sends the rest of the Lalo from the top right side of the base. Here we go. We're gonna haste early. Are we gonna drop headhunters early as well? The warden is not staying with all the loons. He takes a really wonky path. Oh, this is not looking good for ass if I'm being honest. Sends headhunters, but they target the king instead of the queen. Pops the warden ability, doesn't even get the headhunter in there. Yikes. He still has two freezes and one haste though. Gonna freeze the scatter shot. Another hound and loons from the top side of the base. Dragon and the CC can hopefully kill the queen. Is he still gonna get this? Oh, he's still gonna get this, dude. He has loons on the top side. Loons in the middle. Queen is dead. The entire core is gone. And oh my gosh, even when the Sui doesn't get the value he needs, they still triple. These guys are just on a whole nother level, guys. He still has like 69 loons alive. Swagged another loon from the bottom side that he didn't even need. He can use it for cleanup. 40 seconds to go and the base is already gone. Beautiful recovery from alternate attacks right there. And now both teams are three for three. You guys think we're going to see the double perfect or what? Oh, two minutes and 28 compared to two minutes and 29. Oh. We're almost perfectly tied on average attack duration as well. Lei Fang is in with a fourth attack for Dance. Can they continue the streak of perfection? Let's see. Coming in with a mass witch attack? What the heck? He's got eight witches. Five healers. A ton of sneaky goblins. Already dropped two and still has three more. A giant. Here we go with the queen walk. Starting on the bottom side of the base. Gonna go with the early rage because he drops her straight into a warden tower, which does a lot of damage right there. He has three wall breakers, but not going to use any at first. Are we going to try to just skip the eagle here? What's the plan? Warden down with the queen. All right. He has six loons as well. Dude, that's a ton of loons. Wizard to help on the bottom side. There goes the first wall breaker to bust open that archer tower compartment. Okay. What's next? He's going to send three, four loons to snipe the eagle. The expo's on ground, which means they should be able to do it without getting shot by anything. Nicely done right there. Beautiful base identification. There goes the wall breaker to get him access to that next compartment. All the witches on the outside. Ooh, to push the queen and warden in. Okay. It's a partial CC pool. Cat is jumping on my desk again. Hello, sir. Chill. King on the outside. Queen's taking a lot of damage, but the healers stay on her. Hey, hey, cat. Nope. You can't do that. Oh, this guy's crazy. Free spill on the right side of the base. Ow! He blimps the town hall from the top. Queen in the core now. <laughs> Ice Golem and King and Witches make their way into that 3 o'clock section. The blimp on the top side with the Rage Spill and the Yeti's got a ton of value right there. Do we have another jump for the core? We do indeed. We're going to drop it right there for the Queen and the Witches. King is going to have to beat through a wall over on the right side of the base. He's trying to not die to those super minions, but he did he not have a poison? He did, but he must have just missed the super minions. Only a minute and 14 left on the clock. This is looking a little sketchy on time. Queen's finally going to take this jump spell. Did everything die out? Or we still got King and Witches. He's going to rage. Pop the Warden ability. Queen can kill the enemy Queen. Take out the Scatter. The healers switch off of the Queen, which is not good news. That's bad news bearers right there. We send the RC from the top side. Healers are trying to throw. Queen's going to have to pop her ability. We'll see what she can get. Ooh, pops it right there. Takes the jump. Grab a cannon. He still has RC ability. He still has two freezes. He's going to get it. King ability on the outside. I think he's got plenty of time. Double freeze. There's only two defenses left. What am I saying? It's crushed. He has the back end wall breaker. Wow. Le Fang with another triple. And now Dance are four for four in this match. Yo Yo 23 with the next attack for ATN. They have to triple. Honestly, if they want to stay in this match, ATN with all the pressure. They have to triple. Let's see if Yo-Yo can do it. With the early Warden Walk, Lightning Spells for the Scatter Shot and the Expo here on the top side. Warden's gonna make a nice little funnel here. 
Uh, trying to sneak in a balloon to help deal with that mortar and the building behind it. Warden's gonna make the funnel, then we're gonna be sending super witches into the left side of the base. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, are we gonna give that warden enough time to snipe the wizard tower? No, we don't. He's got two more healers to drop. Queen's gonna get it and continue making her way left. Perfect job so far from Yo-Yo. King on the outside funnel. The wall break should be super easy because there's a hole in that air defense compartment. He brought two wall breakers. I'm curious to see where the second one's gonna go. King and Siege Barracks on the outside. Here we go. All the super witches are in. Hello, headhunters in the CC. Can we snipe those quickly? Yes, we do. Now we're gonna lock onto that Lava Hound. This is looking perfect so far. Absolutely perfect. Town Hall's not yet activated. King and Siege Barracks on the outside. We're gonna pop that Lava Dog. We didn't even bring a poison because we don't really need it. Good call there. Where's the jump spell gonna go? Over the clan castle, perhaps? Maybe? Sir, where's your jump? Hello, Mr. Yo-Yo. Is he just gonna save it for later? Jump all the way on the back end? Probably. Pops the warden ability right there. King pops his ability in combination with a peck on the bottom side. Made a nice funnel, but he's actually gonna die out now. There goes the jump spell. I guess that's the good spot for it. Looks a little wonky, but it works. Queen takes the jump on the top side. Super Witches could take the jump on the lower side. Queen's taking a lot of damage. He's gonna have to pop her ability, which is not very cash money. Drops the RC from the bottom side of the base into the air defense with one cleanup wizard right there. Another wall breaker that's really not gonna do anything. Super Witches are all going outside, which is probably not what he wanted. His queen died. Only a minute left on the clock. He's got two freezes to try and keep this RC alive. It's gonna be close, I don't know. I don't know. RC... Gonna have to freeze right there to try and keep this RC alive. Still has to pop her ability anyway. Pop it, pop it. What are you waiting for? Oh no. He's gonna get the wizard tower. He's gonna freeze the warden and the expo. Ooh, it might come down to time. I think the super witches are not gonna die, but he might not have enough time to get this done, guys. Cause the RC is gonna die. And only 35 seconds to go for these Super Witches. I think we're looking at a time fail for alternate attacks. <gasps> Which means the only way they can win this war is if they get a defense. On the last attack from Nishang Dance. 21 seconds to go. Sneaks in a minion for the Eagle. Just not enough time though. 17, 16, 15, 14. Warden and two Super Witches on the outside. Three big boys. Is that actually three Super Witches? No, it's only two. Hard to tell. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We fall short a time fail at 92% from alternate attacks. We're in with the last round of attacks. Boom is in and Sue is in as well for dance. Now alternate attacks here have to triple if they want to win and they have to get a defense. Can Boom save the day for ATN? early blimp it's gonna be a blizzard lalo here all right all right nice invisibility spells he's gonna knock down the town hall right away <clears throat> finds a tornado trap how much value can these wizards get he's gonna make them invisible one more time trying to get the wizard tower at least and the sweeper and he gets the sweeper but not the wizard tower okay still might be good enough yet he funnel on the outside king ice golem royal champion on the left with a wizard but hello tesla farm He's trying to Sui in for the Eagle. The Skelly Trap might distract him though. He sends King straight into a single target Inferno Tower. He's gonna invest a freeze. He is right there to keep that King alive. He's to pop that King ability. Drops a poison for the Witches, but misses one of the Witches. Why is he not popping that King ability? There we go, finally. Royal Champion got distracted by like two and a half Skeleton Traps. My goodness, can he still get the Eagle? Yes, he can. But will Queen go inside for the Scatter? Oh, the Wall Break is unsuccessful for Boom. Did anybody else see that? The wall breaker died early. The king and queen aren't even going to stay alive long enough to get to that scatter shot anyway. The RC didn't get the Inferno Tower. So much is going wrong here for Boom. Can he still manage to recover and get the triple though? Let's see. He's going to need a god tier Lalo to get it done. He's going to Lalo from the top. Save the scatter shot, that back end scatter for last. He still has two scatter shots to worry about. Here we go with the Lalo from the top side. He sends a bunch of loons to that Inferno on the left. Cleanup minions already down all over the place. Haste spell at the top. We still got a freeze, another freeze, two more haste, and the warden ability. Warden needs to catch up with these loons in the core. Oh man, warden's not covering the loons on the top side. Warden is shooting the king instead of going with the loons. Dude, Boom's warden is throwing right now. Sends headhunters for the royal champion. It's gonna be a fail. 
Why is his warden throwing? Oh my gosh. Boom's gonna fail. All the loons are dead. It's gonna be a victory for Dance. Let's go check out their attack. Sue on Boom's base. What's he doing? Oh, and it's another triple? Yes, it is. Dance with the perfect war against the world champions, guys. Showing that Dance are a team to watch out for this year. Holy crap. Look at this. Was it a hybrid or what was it? I think it was indeed a queen charge hybrid from Dance. And Dance going to be finishing with 15 stars against Atian's 13. Holy crap. Let's check out these stats. 15 to 13. Percentage 96.4 to 100%.